Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Mikhail Antonio card to review today. So we are taking a look at a card that is 5 foot 10, medium, medium work rates, 4 star skills and a 3 star weak foot, right footed player. So do have to compensate for the fact that he does not have a good weak foot. This is obviously going to be a card that you use for fun or for SBC fodder, right? Because of his in-game stats and the chemistry styles that you give him. Uh, not necessarily up to par to a lot of the cards that exist nowadays, right? But but he does have 90 acceleration with 96 sprint speed, which is usable. You don't have to improve that in the striker position. Uh, in regards to his base card stats for shooting, they don't look crazy good, right? He's got 87 attacking positioning with 83 finishing, a plus 15 for the finishing because of the sniper chemistry style that we're going to be giving him to make him um, as responsive as possible, right? He does have base card stats of 86 shot power passing stats are okay nothing crazy but usable right um, but the dribbling stats we definitely needed to increase to make him as responsive as possible considering the fact that i think he has a bigger physical body type in game because of the physical stats that he has right he's got 93 strength 90 aggression with 81 stamina and 99 jumping this is the type of card that if, if they were to have released in the beginning of the year he could have actually been a, a pretty cool card because pookie was really really good in the beginning of the year because of the um, types of strikers that you had during that time right so if you had a pookie in your team he played really well during those uh those stages right uh but yeah dribbling were increasing sniper chemistry style increasing is very important for me personally um no defensive stats but obviously he's a striker so i just expect him to uh, play up top score as many opportunities as you can, all the generic stuff, right? So uh, the way that we are going to be lined up with Antonio and the team is going to be balanced instructions. I may switch him to stay central. Uh, I don't even want to switch him to stay central. I want to keep him on stay central because he's not the type of card that I ever want to push to the sides. Um, I want him to specifically stay in the middle and kind of play off of the other attacking mids, right? We'll have these guys on cut pass lanes just to get some fun movement out of them. We're actually going to switch Antonio's uh, instructions to just bounce for the striker. I was going to put cut pass lanes for these guys, but these guys on cut pass lanes are a big no-no. Um, man, I have to decide whether or not I even want to use the comeback and the fence for the attackers because obviously it's the meta, but it's just... I just can't stand it, right? So I'm just not going to use it. We're going to go try out Antonio without stay central, and uh, we'll see how he plays like that. Okay. Um... A 4 2 3 1, most likely. A random center back there. Probably for an objective with French players, maybe? I no idea. Oh, he's doing uh, Liga Santander objectives, probably. To do the um, Anzu Fati or Nelson Semedo, maybe? Oh, he already has a Nelson Semedo, so. Okay, Antonio, let's see how he plays. Like I said, he's not really going to be an ideal player to use nowadays, but uh, we'll see if we can have some fun with him. Just waiting for him to play. He's just stood still there. <laughs> oh. Ah, the shot power. The shot power, even from that angle, you could just tell it's super low on the card, man. But he needs a sniper, man. You need to, need to make his dribbling as responsive as possible, you know? Oh, am I going to get that? Nope. I mean, he's, uh, he's pretty usable so far. It's not like he's completely awful. It's just not ideal to use nowadays, you know? Oh, dribbling wasn't too bad there. Sniper chemistry style definitely going to help that out a little bit for sure. Yeah, I want to try a finesse shot from there with Antonio. Gets into the position nicely to score the opportunity. Um, so far, without the stay central instruction, guys, uh, he is staying central anyways. It seems like a base characteristic of his to... Uh, stay in that position anyway so it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to give him that instruction which is which is good because i don't ever really want him to move to the sides with the way that he uh performs on the pitch right his left stick dribbling is not as bad as i thought it would be to be honest with you could have definitely been worse angled run first time shot there it is nicely done we wait from that. We wait for that run that he makes from the side into the middle area. Again, those are the attacking AI runs that you kind of expect your players to do. Um, and he does that really well. So we'll use his physical over here. We'll try a shot under pressure. Guy does a really good slide tackle. To be fair.
First time power strike. Crossbar and up. Okay. I mean, he seems usable so far. It's 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 mostly the type of card where like, if he was released in the beginning of the year, like it was him instead of Pookie or something, he'd be really sick to be honest. This guy's halfway through playing, halfway not playing. I don't know what's going on, dude. Oh yeah, that's a combination of poor dribbling and uh, composure right there, for sure. Finesse shot from there? Oh, actually, I, that finesse shot was so weak, but I actually thought he was going to do something with that. Oh, well, he actually runs to the side right there. Little shield, touch, touch. Not too bad. His physical, you're not going to be able to utilize that much because of the fact that he is not that great at dribbling, right? And that's just a thing in FIFA. Uh, you could totally give him the Stay Central Target Man Instruction, but that type of play style is not really a huge thing in FIFA in regards to like, oh, just, you know, holding off the defender, you know, laying it off to the other cams and stuff. Um, right? Because the dribbling is important for that kind of stuff too. Good little run right there though. Little tackle. Little left stick dribbles, use a physical there, heal to heal. Heal to heal was a really bad choice, but I just wanted to test out his uh, skill moves as well. Okay, guys, so let's try him out with some different instructions. He's definitely the type of card you use either for the fun concept or for the SBC fodder concept because he doesn't really obviously offer that much in the game right so stay central target man on the card let's see let's see what he does with that you know oh yeah really poor dribbling in those tight situations he does that quite often actually Yeah, you see a little bit of uh, that little bit of emphasis, and then the low shot power there as well doesn't help with the sniper chemistry as well. So it's it's a combination of what you want, right? So let's just say, for instance, you want to give him more responsive dribbling. You need to give him the sniper chemistry style. There's no other real choice, right? However, if you want him to be better at shooting in general, you're gonna obviously have to give him the dead eye chemistry style. But his dribbling just won't be um, that great, you know. Those situations right there, not too bad. Sticks the position really well to score that opportunity. Middle run, middle run, middle run, middle run. Mm. It's not really fast that I like seeing that space right away. Roulette? Oh my god. Yeah, that like, I don't know what that is, whether it's his composure or a combination of the physical and dribbling stats, but yeah, he, he lets go of that ball a lot, man. His runs aren't too bad, though. It's, like, usable, you know? Near pull strike? I <laughs> had yeah, too much. Not going to be accurate enough there, too, either, you know? All right, guys. So, final verdict on the Mikhail Antonio card. This is obviously a card you don't really use nowadays. Uh, this is a card that you use in, like, the beginning of the year. If this card was released in the beginning of the year, he would have been really sick because Pookie's card was sick, and he was missing a lot of very significant stats because of the meta of the striker when those players are available at the time, right? So, uh, with Mikhail Antonio, again, as the review was going on, I was letting you guys know that it's either a sniper or a dead eye on him. It just depends on what... Um, thing you don't care about being the lowest, right? So again, because his composure is out of 77, you can see that he kind of tumbles under really tight situations when he does dribbles and that, all that kind of stuff. Even if you give him the sniper, it's a little bit too low. Um, although you do give him the 98 finishing, his 86 shot power is still very, very relevant and noticeable on the card uh, being super low. Um, the dribbling boost that he gets with the sniper chemistry style definitely helps out the card a lot, but still very, very uh, generic to be fair. Uh, the physical stats... Are nice to have with the stay central uh, stay central target man instructions. I think he actually played those instructions quite nicely uh, because of the fact that you know he kind of puts his body towards the defender, so he can kind of take that first touch and then go. But because his dribbling stats are not necessarily up to par, those two together don't really play that well. Even though he's got the physical stats right, because of uh, his dribbling for base card stats not necessarily being crazy up to par. But it's not as terrible 
as I thought it would be. I thought it would actually be worse because of his physical stats, but he actually moves okay. His off-the-ball movement on balance instruction stays central target man was pretty nice. Didn't feel like I needed to put any other instruction on the card um, because, you know, mostly with most opportunities with this card, you have to get him on his right foot for you to score the opportunity, with, which is uh, what you guys saw in regards to some of the movements that he did to get into certain spaces. But... Uh, it's a usable card, but probably not necessarily ideal to use nowadays, right? I usually I just did the card mostly for SPC fodder in the future. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.